It's a 40-year-old mystery that still has Elvis fans scratching their heads. A custom-made guitar specifically for the king of rock and roll disappeared from Chesbro in Idaho Falls the night before it was supposed to be delivered. Local News 8's Natalie Shaver joining us now. Natalie, still no idea where that guitar is? Unfortunately, that's right, Carol. But those at Chesbro, Chesbro's are still a little hopeful that the guitar will be returned one day. Maybe he should have worried about his guitar instead of his blue suede shoes. So it was a privilege, and I was looking forward to meeting with Elvis Presley. And uh, but it just didn't come about. Uh, in fact, I had to contact his his people and let them know that the guitar had been stolen. Yes, Elvis's guitar had left the building. The guitar was sitting back in Ray Johnson's office in a case. We don't know how anybody even knew about it, but we went in one morning and to get the guitar, and it was no longer there. It was 1976. Elvis had just started performing again after a seven-year hiatus. Uh, this is a really big time for acoustic guitars. Um, as in the past, the acoustic guitar sales soared with a performer who was playing one a lot, and Ibanez was interested in courting Elvis as an endorsee for the brand. It had. Uh, very unique uh, and fancy inlays on it at that time. Um, most guitars, acoustic guitars, did not have a, a fancy uh, inlays or anything. Elvis never got the chance to play this Ibanez guitar, sadly enough. I'm sure he would have loved it. Who knows what the story between Ibanez and Elvis would have been. You got to play Elvis's guitar that Elvis never got, <laughs> got to play. That's true, that's true. And I was going to deliver it to him, doggone. Or the meeting between Gary Bennett and the King himself, you know, we'll never know. Or really what happened to the guitar, I mean, it's, it's a mystery, but we believe that guitar is still out there. Now, Elvis may have never gotten his guitar from Chesbro's, but many other big names have, like Wayne Newton, George Benson, Kiss, and that's just to name a few. In the studio, I'm Natalie Shaver. All right, thanks, Natalie. If you're an Elvis fan, you can always stop by Chess Bros to see the empty guitar hook. Uh, you can even leave a note to the king or memorabilia, if you have any, on the memorial. It's a very unique looking guitar, so it's maybe cool as we looking. publicize this again, yeah. someone will come up with some answer there. We'll put it on our Facebook. Yeah. Well, coming up in about 8.15.